plate that can tune in to concrete with a hot. Steve's unchaining the machine, the 305. We brought the hammer. I'm not sure if we'll need it. This is a driveway we did, Steve, two years ago? Or just last year? I think it was last year, the beginning of last year. We did this last year. You see our corner cuts, no cracks anywhere. They drive over this corner every day. And that's why we do that. Uh, but here's a nice project I can show you our work a year after it's done and how it's holding up. Grass is all grown in around the edges. Little sidewalk chalk action going. So holding up real good. Now this patio we did, I want to say two years ago. And this is how it weathers two years after we pour it. Say it looks pretty nice. Fire pit all done. Nice retaining wall. All landscaped again. Okay, so there's a finished project project for you. Some viewers have been asking for that. Let's go make a mess out front. Tell you what we have going on out here. Uh, this sidewalk is about three feet wide. It is three feet wide. We're going to increase it to four feet wide. Uh, so this all gets ripped out. We're going to save this retaining wall. Uh, hopefully we don't disturb that. Lamp post has to go. Uh, here's this, the uh, sewer line. So that's plenty deep enough. We just won't disturb the cleanouts. Um, you can see how the porch is sinking. So we're going to rip all that out, dig down to solid ground, maybe a footer, we'll decide that once we get in there. So we're going to get all this ripped out, hauled away, uh, get some traction mats in here to protect the grass as best we can. Talk to you soon. So these couplings are so easy, within seconds we had this put on. Right, Dad? I'm sweating for a reason. <coughs> we never used these on this machine, so there was dirt and debris in there. We finally got it freed up. <sighs> Let's go. Only took a Is half it hour. Is yet? It's close. poking around in this section here it doesn't seem like there's any rebar in there so hopefully all of this stuff is going to come out pretty easy uh, he broke it up into sections so that he can get the uh, bucket put on and then he'll just grab each section throw it right into the truck be out of here in minutes Okay, so I was wrong, there, are, there is rebar in this, but it looks like it's pretty low, except for that one middle piece.
So they had two rebar running up the whole way. Uh, they were mostly on the bottom. Uh, not ideal for strength, but for demo, makes it pretty nice. That's why you always pick your rebar up. You want it in the lower third of the concrete. Steps is a little harder because you have such a difference between your treads, but you always want to make sure that there's our time lapse camera. So the idea here is to pull the porch away from the house a little bit and then hammer the middle. Keep the vibration off the foundation wall there. See if he can make it happen. So now he's going to try to square up so he can get this corner out a little bit. You're away. He didn't like those bushes anyways. So one of the things that I like to do whenever we're doing demo, and it seems like there's not a whole lot going on, is you constantly look for anything that could damage anything else. You know, electric lines, plumbing lines. Uh, we have a clean out right here for the gutters. Um, I don't see any other electric lines coming out underneath the concrete. There's no conduit, uh, and then rebar. Uh, there were a couple pieces of rebar in here, so I'm assuming there's one right under here too. Once he pulls this away and gets it split, I'll be able to get it cut and he'll be able to get those loaded. So just because I'm standing around in this time lapse and it looks like I'm not doing a lot, I'm, I'm doing something. So.
giving him eyes on his bucket next to the house, make sure he doesn't bump any of the siding, the doors, the trim. Hey, good morning everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Conquer the Hosses. Uh, Steve and I did demo yesterday on the sidewalk uh, while the guys prepped this basement here. Uh, today, it was supposed to be quite rainy. They backed the rain off until uh, 12 o'clock. So we'll be able to have this poured uh, before that comes in. This is nice and dry. We're going to pull the mixers up here and power buggy the concrete in. I'll show you what we have going on inside. This is under the garage area, steel decking and beams. We have a three foot doorway to come through with our power buggies and pour all this. Nice, easy, flat room, no floor drains. And then later on uh, tomorrow, well tomorrow's Saturday, Monday we'll start prepping the upper deck and we'll get that poured next week. So this is the rest of the basement. This will be about 30 yards. We'll go ahead and get this poured. Nice Friday, floor Friday, 30 yarder. Number one truck at a full mix. We'll be going shortly. Two buggies, a quick backup, and right in. That'd be a long wheelbarrow. If it was just this half, we would use wheelbarrows, but since it's that far, uh, and we have the buggies, we'll, we'll do it that way. I always like to say why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, I'm trying to pull it out. What do you think it is? Is it 32? Do you think it's freezing? I think it's pretty cold. Uh, yeah, it's like 27 when I got there. Yeah, it's not too bad in here. Uh, once you get the concrete on the ground, it'll start making some heat and warm it up real nice in here. Today, I think we're right around 50 degrees, so it's going to warm up pretty nice. So, I'll get a little bit of this pour today, show you what we're up to, and uh, on to the next project. We'll do zip strips corner to corner, down the center, uh, probably one down the center of that room uh, behind that wall. And just looking for everything, make sure it's in its place. Alright, I think we're about ready to go. Okay, we're on to number two truck, number three's here on deck waiting. Uh, mixed or not mixed yet? Mixed up Mixing up right now. I'll put you on time lapse. I'll set you right here. You can watch us pour this. Talk to you real soon. Not too much exciting going on. Just running buggies in. Uh, it was hard to film back there, so just talk real quick and pushing forward. Jim's bringing the corner out with a straight edging. Uh, we have a drain right up there in front of Steve. That's the only drain in here. That's for utility room. So we give that about a half inch of fall, just a little bit in case water tank, condensation, you know, goes in there rather than running across the floor. Uh, Matt's putting zip in at our doorway. Put it in on the back side, and then we use the top and the front side. Giving relief off of every corner. Uh, we'll just float that shut, finish it right over. Uh, future bathroom, that's the box for the trap in the shower, and that's our signal, we're ready to go. Uh, let's get one of these coming in. Again, just coming into plywood. Thought he was ready. Coming into plywood, turning straight in. Everybody keeps talking about taping the seams. I haven't heard of that in this area yet. Uh, we do a nice two or three foot overlap. Uh, we're on top of concrete here for our posts, but it's buttoned up pretty tight. 
We have foam at our doorway that's exposed. That way frost will never come in and damage the floor or just it feels nice and warm if you're standing here in your socks. Uh, keeping that cold from creeping in. And that's about all I want to talk about right now. Let's get to work. Truck mixed up, going really good. Uh, four yards, four yards, and we are done. Come in, simple turn, straight up. So easy pull back. Guys are catching their breath. Well deserved. Me too. All right. So Steve will jump in. The other Steve will just run two buggies in and out. It's real quick. Everybody on a rake. All right, here we go. All of it. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it. Just knock it down a little bit for me. We got plenty. We got a little coming out. Okay. No, we're all done. So flip my corners in. Sorry to be huffing and puffing in the camera, but a little winded, not used to this. Making sure we're nice and straight across there for the door. We don't want to put the door in and have a hump or a dip. A little bit of wolf loading, all done. Grab a sip of coffee, talk to you soon. Okay, the guys are on the floor troweling. That is almost done. And they still have to do this. After we bolt loaded, it looks pretty nice. Uh, I gotta knock the lines out, uh, let it tighten up, and then give it a nice finish. So I'm not gonna video too much of this, hardly any of this. Uh, we'll wrap this up here today. Nice, uh, what is this, beginning of March, so happy to be working, but I feel like I've been posting a lot of floors we're doing, I don't want to uh, keep repeating everything, so this is just what we did today, glad to have you guys with us.